Hello everyone, I'm Xinhua correspondent Wang Xuebing. I'm now at Yijing Railway Station. Behind me is a special train that will take stranded travelers out of Yijing Banner. Yijing has been organizing the evacuation of stranded tourists to low-risk areas by train, bus, and self-drive since October 27. 我今天特别的激动，我特别的感谢河南人民对我们的热情去帮助我们。As of 12 o'clock on the 30th, a total of 7,650 tourists have been transferred out of Yijing Banner since the night of October 27th. The tourists can freely choose whether to leave the banner to low-risk areas. October is the best season for tourists visiting Yijing Banner. In order to meet the needs of stranded tourists, Yijing Banner offers a free meal every day and reduces the price of the hotel room from more than 500 yuan per day to less than 200 yuan. As many stranded tourists are middle-aged and elderly, Yijing Banner coordinates the surrounding cities to provide medical supplies for them. The Xihuan Logistics Center is a temporary storage warehouse for supplies during the pandemic. Supplies from all over China are continuously transported here. The supplies stored here can be used for more than 10 days. Medical masks and other medical supplies can be used for more than 30 days. Frontline workers help buy and deliver daily use essentials for people in residential communities under pandemic control. <laughs> Local residents work together with government to ensure visitors' life demands. First men make fried cakes for stranded tourists free of charge. Many tourists said they were satisfied with the service and will visit here again. <laughs> Thank you.